So I want to share with you the mission trip from 2024. Many of you gave financially into it. And so we felt compelled to document the journey to show what an impact you made by your giving. So on New Year's Eve, we flew down to San Diego and drove across the border into Vicente Guerrero. This is a small farming community with a lot of Hispanic farm workers. So on day one, we got right to work, but there was an issue that it was raining. And in this area, there's a lot of dirt roads. So there's a lot of mud. Uh, it was very unpleasant in the beginning, but we prayed together in agreement that we the rain would stop and that we would build on dry ground. And lo and behold, a short while later the rain stopped the sun came out and we were building on dry ground in no time so all day we built and we worked alongside the family that we were going to give the house to and this is an amazing beautiful wonderful little family of four so after work was completed just about every night we also went out for tacos which i just got to say were some of the best tacos i've ever had in my life so on day two, we picked it right back up. We also got a tour the family's house. Now, the family's house that they were currently living in was very, very humble. It was an old fireworks stand. It had a dirt floor, no countertops, no table. Four people lived in this small area. Um, they cooked food by gathering wood and burning it on the floor. Uh, there is no windows. There's no door. There is a blanket that basically acts as a door, but obviously you can't lock it so there's very little security as well so the house that we were building in america for this family would be very simple it would almost be like a, a large shed or something like that but here in this area it is a castle on day four, the house was just about completed, so we worked on some furniture, and the ladies went out and got them some food, blankets, sleeping bags, and all kinds of other awesome gifts to furnish the house with. And later that day, the time had finally arrived for us to hand over the keys to this beautiful house to this wonderful family. Asher, who is the long-term ministry guide on this site, uh, who has a lot of interaction with the family, gathered everyone together and shared shared a simple but powerful message about how much they are loved. A few of us got to share some kind words with them, and it was a really amazing time of us blessing this family. And the moment finally arrived, we were able to hand over the keys, and they stepped through their brand new house. I can see it all, the color of the morning, when summer turns to fall. Gone from what it was. Honestly, that moment was incredible. Everyone was crying. The family started crying at this uh, gift that they were given. We were all crying. Uh, they were overwhelmed. They started just hugging everyone. And in that culture, it's not really like a touchy-feely culture. So the fact that they were going around and literally hugging the kids, the adults, the parents, every person, they gave each and every person a huge hug. It was a very, very special moment. So thank you so much for everyone who gave and was a part of this and prayed for us. Uh, it really did. It's going to have a long lasting impact. This home is going to provide security and safety and warmth to a family for many, many years, and it will change generations. Thanks so much. For me.